Carol Art of Sports here with Christina Poncher. Uh, we're here uh, to uh, promote April 22nd. I mean, it's it's the card is kind of going back to the Latin Fury cards, the, the, those those crazy, those awesome pay-per-views that Top Rank will put on on their own, all that, and it was just stacked from from beginning to end. Obviously, let, let's talk about Shakur Stevenson. Top Rank got him. You know, a lot of people are bidding for him. Right? <laughs> Tell yeah. us about him. I mean, he's he's a budding star, right? Seriously, I mean, this kid is what we would call the complete package. I mean, the, his charisma, his smile, his skills and abilities. First and foremost, I should have said that first. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's you know, those things you can work on. The other things kind of just have to come naturally. And um, he's just a really gifted kid, and we're super excited. Um, I think he understands how Top Rank does things in the sport in terms of building champions from, you know, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto, um, you know, guys that he looks up to in Terrence Crawford. And I, I think that um, he's going to really uh, make a huge splash, and we're excited. I mean, your pro debut, not a four-rounder, but a six-rounder, and on pay-per-view. Uh, but he's ready for it. We're excited. He he's he has like you said all the uh, all the ingredients yeah, exactly sure. exactly you know what I mean um, and, and speaking of that actually he's been mentioning today that uh, that Mike Collins someone he's looking yeah. looking forward to fighting already he's already yeah. talking about that I talked to Bob obviously you know Bob wants it to marry him for a while as it should yeah there's still um, babies yeah for sure right <laughs> yeah but, but talk about that talk about just having both of those guys and just already having that buzz about that fight already that's you know four or five years in the make yeah I mean. You know, things just work out in crazy ways, and you know they should have met in the Olympics. I mean, they should have been um, in that in that fight, and and for the BS that happened with Colin, and you know wh whatever happened, it didn't happen. It didn't happen then, but it will happen in the pros. It'll be a better fight. Um, Shakur said Conlon signing with Top Rank didn't have any effect on him signing with Top Rank. But when I asked about the opportunity to, to potentially fight him, his face like lit up. You know what I mean? So he really would like that opportunity down the line. And it's great for us. They're both really talented kids. Um, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to when that fight gets made. But look, one, they're both just barely having their pro debut. So uh, they need to build some pro experience. It's, it's a big transition for these guys going from the amateur style to a pro style. Um, I think I've seen Conlon in the gym. I've seen some sparring of Shakur's. And I, I think that uh, they, they'll, they'll transition smooth, smoother than most. But they still got a little ways to go before you do that. Let's talk about just the rest of this card. Magdaleno's on yeah. it. Uh, Zurdo's on it. Oscar Valdez, yeah. obviously, headlining. I mean, t talk about just putting all these guys together, all these guys kind of just and they're, they're all of them train here except yeah. for Shakur you know what I mean just t talk to us about that yeah you got belts on belts on belts you got <laughs> O's on O's and O's you know what I mean it's a it's crazy when you combine all their records but look these are great guys these are great fighters um, you know Jesse and Oscar being stable mates um, training un under the tutelage of Manny Robles uh, at the rock gym they sparred each other a couple times just twice <laughs> and he's like no more no more because they they're very competitive but you know what these guys uh, always go in uh, extremely prepared and always want to put on a great show and you know it's been a year um, come April 22nd since we've seen Gilberto Ramirez um, back in the ring since his hand surgery but you know what he was it, he was dealing with that for a few fights and I feel like now we're finally going to get to see him healthy with power in both hands so I'm really excited to see him back all of them defending their title and StubHub wow. I mean you know I know yeah. the fans know StubHub it, it, there's something about the atmosphere there that just makes for incredible fights and I just get up a little bit more when I, I know we're covering a fight there oh, outside every seat is good like the fans Fans win, the fighters win. It's, as long as there's no rain, we're good. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> if I jinxed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it'll be this, yeah. it'll be this. Right Run here. this tape back if that happens. I want to ask you, huge fight uh, just announced um, Pacquiao versus Khan with, with top rank. Um, uh, maybe, what's maybe. the fate? I don't, I don't know. I, you know what? I don't think it's. I don't think anything official has come from Top Rank. Okay. I will say that. Um, if it does happen, yeah. It, what if, do you it, think? if it does happen, I think it would be great. I wish it was a little bit, um, you know, a year or two ago. But, um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen. Maybe in the fall. I don't know if I, I don't. If we were at one point planning on trying to have that be a like a split site pay per view where that would be the main event and then they would come uh, to Carson for this card. But it doesn't look like with his responsibilities there in the Philippines that it'll happen in the spring. But if it does happen in the fall, um, I, I think it would be a great matchup and I'm looking forward to it. You know, Amir Khan is always in big fights, so I know he's ready and Manny will stay ready too. Uh, just any updates, if you know any of or with Terrence Crawford, what's going on with him? Yeah, when will we see him um, again? Terrence is getting back in the gym. I mean, he's let me rewind that back he does always, always stay in the gym right, yeah. yes but I just mean with more of a focus um, no opponent quite yet I think they've narrowed it down to a couple guys but it looks like we're going with um, May 20th um, and likely in New Jersey 
So I think it's a good look. Um, it, it's not official. Yeah, he's still going to stay at 140. He's very comfortable. Makes that weight no problem. Um, so, I mean, wait till official word from, you know, top rank. But I, I really think that uh, it's good that we take him on uh, a tour, if you will, in other cities so other fans get a chance to, like, see him in person because he's really something special. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah he's one of the best uh, pure talents in the, in the game, for sure. Yep. Um, just as a boxing head, I want to ask you uh, a big fight coming up, Canelo versus Chavez. Mm -hmm. uh, first, you know, tell me about the fight. How do you see it playing out? And, and the other obvious question is, what do you think about the weight issue? Canelo didn't want to go up to 160 for yeah. Triple G. Now he's going up to 164 and a half. Talk to us about, about that. Yeah, he's going up and Chavez is coming down, right? right Way yeah. down. At a fight, I think it's been like five years since he fought at, at a weight like that. But, you know, obviously the fans are excited. Look, the fight is sold out and, you know, we're still a ways away. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I know that there's other matchups that maybe I would have liked to see Canelo in. <laughs> uh, maybe a guy with three letters uh, that are the same. But maybe we'll get that eventually. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, shoot. shoot. They're going to go in there and bang. You know how, you know, it, it, Chavez has a chin like no other no matter what people say about him his work ethic or whatever when he gets in the ring he brings it and he can take a punch you know and, and Canelo the same too I like to see how um, his power is tested against that chin of of um, Chavez Jr. I think Canelo has more boxing ability and is a is a better fighter in terms of all around but you can't a guy like a guy like Chavez Jr. you cannot count him out in any fight I always go back to that Sergio Martinez fight where every, we got outboxed for nine and a half practically ten rounds and the next thing you know it's like oh my god is he gonna do this so um, it could be a fight like that where Canelo's like the better mover technical fighter uh, obviously you can bang but um, you just never can count Chavez out so I think it's going to be an entertaining fight for the fans that that are in, att in attendance and um, I hope that if Canelo looks really really good even does stop a guy like Chavez Jr. Um, I mean let's get that fight with Triple G done I mean let not let's I don't he's not my fight he's <laughs> not top rank <laughs> right. don't get me in trouble but um, you know yeah. I'd like to see that it's, I think all the fans want to see that right. yeah it's definitely never been a question of, of if Chavez Jr. could fight it's been a question of I think more dedication and, and all yeah. that stuff. agreed agreed um, Tell, tell the fans where they can follow you, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that. Sure, you know, all videos are up on uh, TopRank.com, TopRank's YouTube, and then me, at Christina Poncho on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. <laughs> well, definitely, you guys, follow her. She's definitely a true boxing head. Thank you so much, Christina, for Thank the time. You for I appreciate me. it, Mama. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. <laughs>